Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about conditional access policies in Microsoft Entra ID. First off, I will begin with an overview of conditional access, discuss its purpose and benefits. Following this, I will dive into specifics of creating a conditional access policy and demonstrate how to create one. At the end of the video, you will gain a comprehensive understanding of conditional access and its functionality, as well as the know-how to create a basic conditional access policy. If you are ready to start learning about conditional access policies, let's begin. Alright, let me provide an overview of conditional access policy. Conditional access policy is a feature in Microsoft Entra ID. Conditional access policies are created and managed in Microsoft Entra ID. I should mention that conditional access policy is a feature that is only available in the paid version of Microsoft Entra ID, both P1 and P2. It adds an extra security layer using specific conditions such as a user, location, device, application, user sign-in risks, to manage who can and cannot access data or other resources. For instance, you could set a conditional access policy that requires users from a specific group to provide multi-factor authentication when signing into a particular application. Conditional access relies on several signals to control who can access what data and from where. Conditional access signals include users or group membership, named location information, device, application, real-time sign-in risk detection, cloud apps or actions, and user risk. The user or group signal allows the admin to create policies that target specific users and groups. This provides fine-grained control over access to apps and data. Named location information can be created using IP address ranges and used when making policy decisions. Admins can even block or allow traffic from an entire country's IP range. The device signal allows the admin to create a policy that targets users with specific devices or with devices in a specific state. Using the application signal, Admins can ensure that users who are trying to access specific applications will trigger different conditional access policies. Real-time sign-in risk detection allows a conditional access policy to identify risk sign-in behavior and to force users to perform password changes or multi-factor authentication. If a user fails to take one of these actions, the user can be blocked from access until an admin investigates and takes action. Using the cloud apps or action signal, an admin can include or exclude certain cloud applications or user actions that will be subjected to a policy. User risk is available to customers that have access to identity protection feature in Microsoft Entra ID. User risk refers to the probability that a particular account is compromised. It can be evaluated as part of a conditional access policy. Let's summarize how conditional access policy works. So the signals I just mentioned determine who or what gets targeted. Access controls determine what happens when the conditions of a conditional access policy are met they determine whether or not access should be granted or if extra verification should be required. For example, a policy might reach a decision to block access to a resource or it may grant access. Depending on how a policy is configured, it might also require additional conditions to be met before granting access. It might, for example, require a user to complete multi-factor authentication or it might require a device to be marked as compliant before access is granted. You can even configure a policy to ensure a user is using a Microsoft Entra hybrid joint devices before granting access to apps and data. 
So when you're creating a conditional access policy, you're basically building an if-else statement made up of assignments and access controls. The policy you create will evaluate the assignments and access controls you have set up and make decisions based on these parameters. This process, in effect, enforces the policies of the organization. Conditional access policies are applied in two phases, session details collection and enforcement. During the first phase, information about the session is gathered. This includes details such as the network location and the identity of the device as they are required for evaluating the policy. The first phase of policy evaluation is applied to all enabled policies as well as those in report-only mode. After gathering the session details, the second phase involves implementing the policy or policies. The details gathered in the first phase are used to determine any requirements that have not been met. If a policy is set up to restrict access through block grant control, the enforcement kicks in and the user is denied access to whatever resource the policy is protecting. In the other scenarios, the user is prompted to complete any additional grant control requirements that have been defined but not satisfied during the first phase. This happens in the same order you see on your screen, multi-factor authentication, approved client app or app protection policy, managed device, which is either compliant or hybrid Azure AD joint, terms of use and custom controls. After satisfying all the specified grant controls, session controls such as app enforced controls, Microsoft Cloud App Security and token lifetime are implemented. This second phase of policy evaluation happens for all enabled policies. It is important to note that multiple conditional access policies can be applied to a user at the same time. In such cases, all applicable policies must be satisfied. For instance, if one policy requires multi-factor authentication and another requires using a intra hybrid joint device, the user must fulfill both conditions, complete MFA and use the specified device. Essentially, all conditions set by the policies are logically and operation, meaning that if multiple conditions are established, all must be satisfied for the policy to be activated. All right, it's demo time. In this demo, I will walk you through the process of creating a conditional access policy. While I won't do anything complex, I will show you the process of creating a conditional access policy using the Azure portal. Currently, I'm logged into my Azure portal and I'm on the home page. I will search for Microsoft Intra ID and select that. For this demo, I'm going to create a policy that blocks Office 365 apps for certain device types. So currently, when I attempt to open an Office 365 app on my desktop running Windows OS, such as Excel, it opens without any issues using my account kiran.dhananjaya at tastybiryani.n. However, with the conditional access policy, I plan to disable this access. Before you can create a conditional access policy, you must disable the security defaults of your organization. Otherwise, you'll encounter an error while creating a conditional access policy. So I'm still on the overview page of Microsoft Entra ID. Click on Properties and scroll down a little. And here it says your organization is protected by security defaults. So to disable it, click on Manage Security Defaults. I will select Disabled. It throws a warning message. It says my organization will not be protected if I disable security defaults. For the reasons for disabling, I will select my organization is planning to use conditional access. 
it again throws a warning message. It says my organization will not be protected if I disable security defaults until I create conditional access policies to protect the identities. I can ignore this for now because I'm creating a conditional access policy right now. I will click save. I'll click on disable, but you can see it once again warns that disabling security default will leave your organization vulnerable to common attacks. I will click on disable. All right, the security defaults have been disabled. Next, I will go back to the overview page of Microsoft Entra ID tenant, tastybiryani.in. Scroll down on the left side and click on security. And now I'm going to click on conditional access under protect. I can click on create new policy from the overview page or click policies, which currently lists no policies. So I will click new policy. We need to give it a name, configure the assignments, target resources, conditions, the access controls, and session information. Not all of this is mandatory, but we'll walk through what we need to do to make this work for us. We'll start here with the name of our policy. I will just call this policy number one, block office 365 apps, access from Windows OS. Then under assignments, click on the blue link, zero users and group selected. And now you have two options, include to include users into this policy or exclude to exclude users from this policy. I'll keep include selected. You have three options, none to not to include anyone, all users to include all users, but I don't want to assign this to everybody. So what we'll do here is we'll select the option, select users and groups. I will select users and groups and select my account Kiran Dhananjaya and click on select again. So basically this conditional access policy is going to apply only to me. Now, if I wanted to apply this to everyone, I just select all users. Next, we are going to specify the target resources that this is going to apply to. If we select the link here, target resources, under select what this policy applies to, I'll keep cloud apps selected instead of other options such as user actions and authentication context. Under include, you have a couple of options to include no apps, all cloud apps, or selected apps. I'm gonna select select apps. There's also an option to filter the list of app using the rule syntax, or you can manually select apps by clicking the link none. To keep it simple, I will just select Office 365 as the selected cloud app and click on select. Just like the users options, you also have include and exclude options to include or exclude the target resources from this policy. I've simply used only the include options Next, I will select conditions. In here, you have different signals such as user risk to find out if the account is compromised, sign-in risks that tells you if the sign-in session is compromised, insider risk which assesses the user's risk data related activity in Microsoft Purview, insider risk management, device platform, locations, client apps, filter for devices, and authentication flows. For this example, I'm going to select the device platforms only and select the option yes under configure to apply this new policy to selected device platforms. And under include, it is currently selected to any device, but I'll select windows only under selected device platform. Click done. You can also select other options, but I'll stick to device platforms. Under access controls, I'm going to select block access. But as you can see, you can grant access with additional conditions such as require MFA, require authentication strength, require device to be marked as compliant, require Microsoft Entra hybrid joint device, require approved client app, require app protection policy, require password change. You can select all of them or some of them. 
for multiple controls, you can select require all the selected controls, which basically says that all selected conditions must be met. The other option is require one of the selected controls where only one of the selected controls must be met. Like I said, for this example, I will select block access and click on select. You can also select session to control access based on session controls to enable a limited experience within specific cloud applications with these additional controls. I'll skip this for this demo. And finally, you'll see this option at the bottom for enable policy. We can either report only, we can turn on the policy or turn off the policy. So if you select report only, it's not going to do any enforcement. It's just going to tell us what it sees. But what we are going to do for this demo is turn on the policy. So I'm going to select on and click on create. All right, this policy is created. We now have a conditional access policy called policy one, block Office 365 apps access from Windows. We also have the policy enabled and that's it. That's how you create a conditional policy just in case if you want to block or grant access based on country or location, you can create named locations by clicking on named locations on this page. All right, let me test this. I'll try to open an Office 365 app, which is Excel. Let me sign out of my account and click on sign in. I will type in my credentials. Hastybiryani.n, click next and I will type my password and click sign in. All right, there you go. It says your sign in was successful, but does not meet the criteria to access this resource. For example, you might be signing in from a browser app or location that is restricted by your admin. So that is how you create a basic conditional access policy. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.